Hey, good morning, good morning, Bazalwane. I hope I find you well this morning. Aye, it's way up 15 minutes late, but hey, you know these machines, it's been raining overnight, and hey, they've taken a break to cool down. So this morning they were trying to buffer us a bit, but here we are coming to you live. Joy comes in the morning, whipping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hey, and uh, we are never delayed, but we are always on time like our God, like our Father. And we're going to have a great time and we're going to have an awesome time. I hope you've been waiting, you know, waiting and waiting, checking if the problem is your network. No, it's not your network. It was our, on our side, but we thank God it's all fixed up and we are ready to go and i hope you are excited this morning i hope you have come out of your blankets it doesn't matter that it's been raining we thank god for the rain hey pulukwane people you receive the rain it's time to say to god i thank you because rain is like life in the words of my father you are talking to me this morning say rain is like life because it brings everything to life if it's not there almost everything dies but now we have the rain and we had good rains overnight and we are so excited it's still raining even this morning but hey that does not give us a license to sleep but that tells us rise up um, Zalwana. that tells us to get to work that tells us to make sure that we put our hands on the plow and not to look back so that we achieve what we want to achieve i greet you all sons and daughters of mana tabernacle I greet you all, our friends on Facebook and you on YouTube, and say, hey, it's a good morning, it's a Thursday morning, and we are continuing on our subject, defend it, and I thank my spiritual parents, Pastor Strike and Pastor Joelin, for the opportunity once again to be with you this morning, and we are going to have a great time, and you remember our scripture reading, we find it from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 23, and we are reading at verse 11, and it reads as follows, uh, and after him was Shammah, the son of Aji, the Hararite. The Philistines had gathered together into a troop where there was a piece of ground full of lentils. So the people fled from the Philistines, but he stationed himself in the middle of the field and defended it and killed the Philistines. So the Lord brought about a great a victory. We thank God for the reading of his word, and we are going to be going to the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 4, and uh, uh, we're going to be reading uh, from uh, verse uh, 17, uh, verse 17 and 18, and it reads as follows. Those who built on the wall and those who carried burdens loaded themselves so that with one hand they worked at the construction and with the other, they, uh, with the other held a weapon. Every one of the builders had his sword gathered at his side as he built, and the one who sounded the trumpet was behind, beside me. These are the words of Nehemiah, my brother and my sister. And as we have been talking about defending what God has given you, defending what God has assigned to you, defending the vision that God has given to you, I want to say to you, Mzalana, here we are. We find these men building the wall. You know, when you build something, Mzalana, expect challenges. When you grow your product, expect challenges. When you raise your family, expect challenges. When you work on your marriage, expect challenges. Challenges, Mzalana, will always be there. Because the Bible says, the devil prows like a lion seeking whom he may devour. He seeks for an opportunity to stop you. But you need to stand up, Mzalana, and defend what is your own. And we're seeing here Nehemiah and, 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 and the people of Judah building the wall. I love it because the Bible says that with one hand they carried the Lord. With the other hand they carried the weapon. These guys were about their business. These guys were not playing. These guys were serious about their business. And we see God bringing a great success to them. Because they committed themselves. Because they stood up. They did not sit down and cry. They did not sit down and let the enemy you know, to rejoice over them. Because in the words of Nehemiah, Nehemiah says, let's build, the Lord will fight for us. But we see them rising up and be ready. Because people, we must understand that when we say the Lord will fight for us, the Lord fights through us. We need to stand up and take commitment and God accelerates us. That's why you see Shama. Shama stands in the middle of the field and defends the field. And the Bible says God brought about a great victory to him. But he had to stand. He had 
to make sure that he defend what God has given. And God accelerated him. We see also with Nehemiah and his team, they stood up, they were ready, they went, they carried weapons on the other side. And God brought about a great victory in their lives. Zalwana, you cannot sit down and expect a great victory. You cannot sit down and enjoy the rains that have come now and you say, oh, it's raining and you sit on your blankets because it's so nice to be in the blankets when it's raining. I'm calling you out of that bed, Zalwana, and I'm saying to you, you've got a territory to defend. You've got a vision to defend. You've got a lot to defend that God has given you and it calls for you to come out of your blankets. It calls for you to come out of your comfort zone and be ready to face the enemy head on and be ready to face the enemy face to face and defend what God has given you. And the Lord will give you a great victory. God is about giving a great victory. God is about giving, you know, power. When, 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 when David comes to the children of Israel after they've been messed up for 40 days and 40 nights by Goliath, he says, who is this uncircumcised Philistines that is talking and swearing to the armies of the Lord? And he stands up and he says, I am going to put a stop to this. He stands up and God gives him a great victory. He puts down the giant. There is a giant in Zalwanim that is standing, that has been tormenting you day and night. And I want to say to you, Zalwanim, this morning, say enough is enough. Say enough is enough because you belong to the armies of the living God. You belong to our Father. You are called in the name of our Father. And when you stand up and defend what God has given to you, what God has trusted you with, I can assure you that God is about bringing a great victory in your life. But only you need to stand. Only you need to rise up. Only you need to know that you've got a duty, Zalwana. We are not in this world to become Mickey Mouses, but we are in this world as giants. We are in, the, in this world as people that has set God has set aside to fight. God, people that God has set aside to overcome. Hey, we, we, the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffers violence. Only the violent take it by force. And I want to say to you, Zalwana, you need to stand for the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is about what you have been given. It's about what you need to defend. You succeeding in your family. You cause the kingdom of God to grow. You succeeding in your business. You cause the kingdom of God to grow. You succeeding in your health. You cause the kingdom of God to grow. Because in your success, there is a testimony that causes the kingdom of God to grow. In the success of David, there was a testimony that causes the Israelites to rise from their sleep and chase after the Philistines. In the success of Shammah, the Israelites came back and realized that they need to stand up and fight. They need to stand up. And I want to say to him, Solomon, even as Nehemiah said to the people, with one hand, you shall pray. With one hand, you shall, you know, the, the weapon was prayer. With, today, our weapon is prayer. In their time, the weapon was to fight the enemy. But with us now, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. But we are fighting against spiritual forces. And how do we fight against spiritual forces? By being resilient in our prayer. By committed to our prayer. And I want to say to you, Mzalwane, that is your weapon. And on the other hand, Mzalwane, carry the Lord. And the Lord, Mzalwane, is you waking up in the morning lifting your, your, yourself and everything around you in prayer and standing up and getting down to work him Zalwan. You cannot do one and leave the other. They go hand in hand him Zalwan. You cannot sit down and pray and expect everything to happen him Zalwan. No, you need to put your hands and the Bible says that Whatever you put your hand to, make sure that you do it with all your might. And I want to say to you, Salon, as you rise up and you make your devotion and you pray, Salon, get down to business, in Salon, get down to work, in Salon. We, we, we are not talking about miracle money. We are not talking about things happening overnight. You wake up, and, no, we're talking about working, in Salon, putting your hands on the way. It doesn't matter if it's raining, in Salon. To a farmer when it's raining like this, it brings so much joy to him. He puts on his gumboots, he puts on his, 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 his raincoats and he gets down to plow the seed, to plant the seed. And I want to say to you, Salwan, it's not time for you to sleep. It's not time for you to concentrate on what Tobias and San Balat are saying. But it's you for you to rise up and know that God wants to bring a victory in your life. But you need to rise up and put your hands on the plow and not look back and be diligent in Salwan. 
We cannot be lazy. God was never lazy. That's why God sat down and gave himself time and he created the heavens and the earth. And he said to you, hey, you shall till the ground. He said to you, hey, you shall take care of the animal. God gave us authority. He gave us work because he is a God who is about work. And in Zalwan, as you pray, pray in Zalwan. Pray and get down to work. Pray in Zalwan and put your hands to work. Pray in Zalwan and work. We see the Nehemiah and the team. They were determined to build the wall. They had asked God for the grace. God granted them the grace. But God was not going to build the wall for them. God was not to, going to put brick and mortar for them. But they had to rise up from Zalwan and put brick and mortar. They had to carry weapons on one side so that they defend what they are doing. I want to say to him, Zalwan, you've got a duty. Nobody will defend your family for you. We can go to our pastors for counseling, but we have a jury. Like in the words of my senior pastor, she always says that marriage is work. We work every day. You have to put work every day. If you don't, I'm telling you, Zalone, the enemy comes and plows weeds. And my father once said that what you do not manage will be taken away from you. That's a scary statement. What you do not manage will be taken away from you. God has given us things to manage. And we manage by working diligent. We manage by praying for over our work. But you need to make sure that you manage what God has given you, Msalwa. And you can manage it when you rise up. Defend it, Msalwa. With all your might, defend it. And I can assure you that there is a God in heaven who is ready to bring about a great victory. There is a God in heaven who wants to create a testimony out of what you are growing through. But you need to rise up in Zalwan. And I can tell you, you will be celebrated in Zalwan. And we will talk about you. We will take courage from what you have done. We will make reference of you, Zalwan. That is how we grow the kingdom of God. And I want to say to you, Zalwan, let's continue to work. Let's continue to defend what the Lord has given us. Let's continue to manage what the Lord has given us. We cannot have what God has given us taken away from us because of mismanagement. But we need to rise up and manage him, Zalwa. And I hope you are blessed this morning. I hope you are encouraged this morning. I hope you are strengthened this morning. I hope you are ready, him, Zalwa, to run and not look back. I hope, him, Zalwa, you are ready to make sure that you get down to business. Get down to business in Zalwan and work. We thank God for the rains that have come. We bless his holy name for the rains. We glorify his name for the rains. And hey, these rains, they come to tell us that the God in heaven is working. He's working. When he releases the rains, he's working. When you see plants growing, he is working. God has never stopped working. He is working. And he wants to work through you. He wants nations to know his name through your achievements. So you need to rise up from Zalwan, and I hope you are blessed. And I hope to meet you at the top. Make your way to the top of Zalwan, because that is where you belong. Greatness is in you, Zalwan, because there is a greater God in you. There is a greater God in you who has given you power to trample over serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy. You are victorious already, Zalwan, but you need to stand up. You need to get your sword around your waist, Zalwan, and go to battle. And go and work in Zalwan. Oh, we thank God. And I hope you are blessed. And I'm going to be praying with you this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, for the time that we've had. We thank you, Father, for the joy of rains, Lord, that we have had, my God, overnight here in Pulukwane. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We say, Lord, you are gracious, you are mighty, you are glorious. There is no other God beside you, Lord. And Jehovah, we are ready to defend what you have given us. Even this rain, Lord, that you have given us, this water that you have given us, Lord, we are ready to put it to good use, Lord. We are ready to farm, Jehovah. We are ready to take care of it, Lord, because you have given it to us to manage it. We thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters. And I know, my God, that they are encouraged. I know, my Father, that they are strengthened. And my God, I pray that, Lord, may you continue to refresh them, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, my brothers and my sisters. See you at the top. That is where you belong. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Till we meet again. God bless you.